Ten, ten Canoes um, is a sort of Australian Aboriginal fable. Um, there is a group of ten men who go goose egg hunting and one of the, the young men fancies the third wife of his older brother. So he gets told a story about the mythical past that is meant to help him teach, it's meant to help teach him to live the proper way. And it's really a journey into the, you know, a thousand years ago, what life may have been like a thousand years ago in Australia. None of the cast had, had ever done any acting before. Um, and it was one of the, the sort of issues in my head as to what might, might be difficult. In the event, it was not so difficult because they were, in a sense, acting out a story that was one of their, that was, you know, ancestral in a way. There were, there were photographs from 1937 taken by an anthropologist um, that were an important reference and that, that showed all aspects of, of their life. And we used those photos to structure the film in a way. And the people in those photos, you know, are the direct ancestors of, of the people now. And so when we, when we did the film, they felt they, they were their own ancestors. So I realised very early on in the process that I would have to throw out all the lessons I'd ever learnt about filmmaking and reinvent a way to make a film because everything about filmmaking is contrary to their culture. Filmmaking is very driven by time and schedule and their lives are the opposite. They are not driven by time, they are driven by the seasons and when things come out to fruit. And so I had to find a way to structure the whole shoot that it could work both for us as the film crew, but that could also work for them according to their schedules and their, their way of working. It's, it's a really difficult area, communities like that, you know, they've been, they, they, you know, the mob I worked with, they wanted to present their culture to the world, to, to have it recognised, to have it valued. The reaction to the film in Australia was um, very, very good. I mean, you know, there's critics and prizes and things and they were very good. Each prize that it won, and it won many more than that, was a victory for them. You know, they would say, we did it, we did it. And they achieved so much more than they expected with the film. They never thought it was pos possible that they could do this. They thought, yes, they really do value our culture. We really do, as individual people, have value. And that, for me, you know, was the greatest thing uh, about all of that. I, I think the only thing that I can say to aspiring filmmakers is that you are entering a, a, an area where utter madness is required. Have no expectations of ever making money, okay? Be prepared to be poor for your entire life and be prepared to work harder and longer than any of your friends and then you have a chance, but just a chance.